I'm going to show you how to use Sony's 4K projector's picture position lens memory function so that we can fill a 2.35 screen with movie content and show 16 by 9 content at the correct aspect ratio but still using constant height so we'll have black bars either side of the image. So I'm using the VPL VW790 today but this also works with the 590, 890, the VPL VW5000 and the GTZ380. Also with the previous generation it works with the 570, the 760 and the 870. Okay so let's get started. But what I'm going to do first is we're going to change the aspect ratio of the image and we're going to choose the 2.35 to 1 zoom. So we can either go into the menu and do that, or there's the aspect button on the remote control. Okay, so now we're in the 2.35 zoom position. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the zoom and the focus and the shift buttons, and we're gonna position the image so it fills the width of the screen. What you'll see here is that those little tiny dotted lines at the top and the bottom of the screen, they will be touching the very top and the very bottom and the very final lines to the left and right should just be touching the edge of our screen. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to go back into the menu and we're going to choose the screen option again and we're going to choose blanking and we're going to turn blanking on. Now we're going to take the top of the image and we're going to mask everything that's currently showing on the ceiling. I'll bring that down, I'll probably take it a little bit too far and then bring it back up so that we can line up with the top of the screen absolutely perfectly. Then I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom. As you'll see, it'll scroll up, we'll go a little bit past and then we'll drop it back to hit exactly the bottom of the image. Or the bottom of the image will be exactly at the bottom of the screen. Now we've done that, we're going to go into the picture position, choose the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio and save that position. Now that's the 2.35 position saved. Now we're going to change the aspect and we're going to move that to normal. And we're going to turn the masking off. So we go to the blanking and we're going to switch that to off. Now we're going to use the focus, zoom and shift buttons and make the height of the image hit the top and the bottom. So the very top and bottom lines are going to hit the very top and bottom of the screen. Now I don't have to shift this to the left or right at all because we've already positioned the center of the image perfectly. So I'm just using the shift function up and down and the zoom function to try and make that as perfectly as we can line up with the top and the bottom. And now we go back to the screen function and we're going to save that picture position as our 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio position. What you find is once you save this, it will turn the aspect back to the ones it was previously on. So we need to change that back to normal and then we have to turn the blanking off and then we save that position again. Now on the remote control you find the position button, hit that and then select 2.35 to 1. And as you'll see now the image is going to go to that 2.35 to 1 position. We still need to save into the position the blanking and that aspect. So I'm going back into the screen function, I'm going to change the aspect back to the 2.35 to 1 zoom and I'm going to turn the blanking back on again. Once this is done we're going to go back and save this back into the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. Now we're going to check that works, so I'm going to hit the position button and choose the 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio. Now we see that position. And 
and then I'm going to check the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio position. As we can see the blankings come on and it's filling the full width of the screen and there's nothing spilling off over the edges. We'll go back and check that 1.85 again. As we can see that didn't quite land on the bottom of the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and zoom and shift the image. It looks like it was just a touch too small. So I can make that a little bit bigger and then I'm going to shift the image so it touches the top and the bottom properly. A little pro tip for you here, if it's not quite landing in the right place, what you do is you just shift the image down five centimeters and then shift it back up into the right position and this helps with the picture position to lock into place properly. And once I'm happy with that position, I'm going to go back in to the screens function and I'm going to save that as the 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio position. And let's quickly check that again. So I'll use the position button on the remote control. Choose the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. Blankings come back on. It's changed to the aspect of the 2.35 to 1 zoom perfectly. And that's landed bang on. So let's check the 16 by 9 position. Exactly the same, go to the position button on the remote control. And that's much better. Okay, I could tweak that a little bit more, but for the purposes of this video, we'll leave that just there. That's absolutely fine. Another pro tip for you. If you change the status to off in the settings, it means that when you actually change aspect ratio, you don't get that message in the middle of the screen. So now we don't have any pop-up message that just changes aspect ratio seamlessly once we select it. In fact, if you're using a separate control system where you've got direct access to those, you don't see anything come off of the menu. It just changes shape at the press of a button. So now we have no pop-up menus coming up on the screen. So let's see how this looks with the lights off. With the lights on, of course, those bars, we are seeing them still. But once we turn the lights off, as you can see, the image is framed perfectly and we've got that full height. So let's try that aspect ratio change one more time and just see how that goes. As you can see, that's absolutely fantastic once the lights are off. Here at AWE, we distribute the full range of Sony's 4K projectors. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like button. Thanks for watching.